Nat Francis Island Games Guernsey 2023, number 11, age 19. Doing some defending, and Ross Peters is brilliant. He's run all the way out right at the edge of the area to get that ball. He grabbed it, then he laid on the ground and said, that's mine. And now is uh, attacking again over on the far side of the field, the Falklands. I think that was uh, from Matt Francis. Matt Francis plays it nicely through to him. And, oh, it's a nice, nice work there. Is that Matt Francis going? Matt Francis is still going, still going, still going. And finally, he's pushed off the ball, but um, it wasn't enough to win a free kick. But, up, but mm, he tried to play it inside. But he gave it away, but it doesn't matter. Falklands still won it back. Matt Francis is doing well. He... Um, Sells a dummy to, the, to his opposing player, he's still got the ball, they can't get it off him, he's still got the ball and finally he's pushed over, frustration there again from the Isle of Man, they can't win the ball. A bit of pressure, Josh Peck there now, missed times a header and the ball eventually runs through to Matt Francis. Matt Francis, a nice little tap inside, trying to find Sean East, Sean East though loses possession. Isle of Man on the attack again now, but uh, eventually Matt Francis comes to the rescue once again. He's had a good game over there and now frustration from the Isle of Man because Matt Francis dispossessed the Isle of wins the ball nicely. Tries to find uh, uh, Matt Francis. Matt Francis attacking on the halfway line. Wins the ball lovely. Nice, superb control from Matt Francis. Plays the ball through trying to find Ethan. Here's a chance. Here's a chance. No. Axel Reed. Um, Axel Reed. Sorry. Axel. Isn't it? It yep. gets on yep. the field. Number 18 for his first opportunity of these games and I'm sure he's going to enjoy this la these last um, eight to ten minutes or so. There's young Matt Francis hearing down that left side. He's advanced all the way down. He's still got the ball over in the far corner and he plays the ball back nicely there to Reyes. Reyes I think it is playing the ball through but uh, he did because he was sort of pushed off it. Didn't quite grab it and Eva wins a lovely nice tackle from Eva and he plays it through to Sean. Sean he plays a fine Francis away over on the left, halfway inside the half of uh, Orland, and he, Matt Francis holds the ball, still holds the ball, still holds the ball, coming into the penalty area. Can he get the cross in? But he doesn't get the ball into the six yard. Everybody up as well. Let's get the ball up the field. Sean East wins it, plays it to Matt Francis. Matt Francis in a tussle at the back, and he's pushed over, absolutely no doubt about it. Clear push in the back from uh, Ericsson, and so it'll be a Falklands free kick right over on the far side of the field where the dugouts are away on the other side from us and Matt Francis will take it halfway inside the Falklands half. Left footed ball, swings high, high, Ethan Clark goes to get it, he does. Um, over on there we'll soon find out. Anyway, Sean East is uh, tussling away there, trying to get the ball clear, trying to find Matt Francis and Matt Francis is bowled over and this time another free kick is given to the Falklands for a foul on Matt Francis. And um, still cut. Reagan still got the ball. Reagan's going into the penalty area. Reagan going for a now. Will he get a shot? And he's still got the ball. But this time he overruns it. He loses it to Matt. Matt Francis manages to get it clear to Gilson Clark. Gilson Clark trying to find here. It's bouncing around. Bouncing around. And finally, uh, Castro manages to get it clear. Plays it through to Matt Francis. Matt, Matt holds the ball. Still holds the ball. And this time, when he's pulled over, He's pulled over and, oh well, we've got some, a very irate table tennis player there who is telling the referee that he should get a better grip on this game because uh, uh, our player being, I thought, really probably deserving a yellow card to Sheffield Islander for that. He was really pulling and cussing uh, Matt Francis. Matt plays a long high ball in. His head, I guess, sturdy boy is Matthew. Um, so he's certainly have the advantage in the air compared with Ross. Some are probably six inches or eight inches taller than Ross he is. Matthew, Matt Francis passes it nice, holds the ball and passes it. Ethan Gilson is on his own, but nice play there from Matt Francis, but he loses out. And Sean East manages to get an interception and he, nice work by Ethan, Gilson Clark. And um, I just might refer to him as Gilson Clark at the moment because there's two Ethans on the table. And it's a free kick, it's got to be a free kick. Yes, it, it has to be a free kick. Reynolds, frustrated, the, the striker, so frustrated. Baladiris with a superb uh, free kick in the second minute. And it's been tough going ever since, but we knew it would be against Guinness Mond. Absolutely, we're un under no illusions that we could win this game, even though we scored that early first goal. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Because, uh, <laughs> Guinness Mond, I want 
Daniel Steer picks it up from Ross Peters, who plays a short one inside the penalty area. And he plays it across to Matt Francis. Matt Francis, nice, nice control, plays it through to Ethan. Lovely ball from Matt Francis to Ethan. Nice, he's foot on the ball, runs with it. And he's trying to get the ball away. And he's still got the ball. He may, manages to find Deck. Deck finds Ethan. Ethan plays it back nicely to Matt Francis. Matt Francis finds Ethan. Ethan there with the ball, twists and turns. Still got the ball under control. Plays it back to Matt Francis. Matt Francis, as the Orland player, but Sean East gets his first touch, plays it nicely back to, to Matt. Matt back to Sean, Sean East back to Matt Francis. Matt twists and turns, completely deceives the, the opposition player, but he just overran it a bit, but he gets, gets it back from Toby. Nice work from Toby to Sean, to Matt Francis. Nice work on the left hand. To Sportland, Neil. Ethan George plays it back to Reyes, Reyes to Daniel Steer. Daniel Steer plays a short ball to the Sean. Sean East back to Matt Francis. Matt Francis retains possession. He's under pressure, a lot of pressure, but he retains possession. So two Eastons up there, but Sean East wins it. Nice control by Sean East, plays it through to Matt Francis, who's attacking from left back. Matt Francis doesn't never, he just doesn't give the ball away. And they have to foul him, in fact, and, but he still wins that ball. But this time he, I think, was deprived of the ball by a foul. It might have been another foul over there on that side of the field. All the free kicks for the Falklands are coming from the left side where Francis and, and George and uh, Gilson Clark are causing quite a lot of bother to the uh, big, strong Shetland defence. The boys in blue from out of Scotland, or the northern islands of Scotland. Uh, Matt Francis, yep, long high ball comes in. Uh, Daniel Steer goes up, doesn't... Said straight away it was eight foot. Right, what's happening now? Nice work there by the defence, by Sean East, he's played. Harmlessly go past. Lots of noise from the Shetland Islanders fans behind us. They've got a good contingent here supporting them here tonight. St. Clark and George. And Torren Hart takes that away over to the far side of the field. And, and uh, over there uh, he finds... Um, I think it's Matt Francis who's attacking down the left on the far side. Matt turns, twists, turns, got the ball. Lovely ball into Ethan Gilson Clark from Matt Francis. Matt uh, Ethan passes it back, back to Francis via steer. Now down the left, Sean East running for it. Sean East there doing some nice footwork on the far side, being pushed and shoved by the defender. And lots of noise coming from the Fulton supporters saying to the referee, come on, there was a lot of too much shoving going on there. And uh, young Sean East, very slight lad, of course, but very talented. He got the worst of it, but we still did get the throw. Goes back to Sean East again. He steadies himself. He passes it nicely back to uh, Gilson Clark. Gilson Clark trying to find Francis uh, over on the far side of the field. I don't know who that went off, but it's a free. It is a free, yes. We've got, we've got a free kick there on the far side of the field. Um, looks like Matt Francis will take it with his left foot. So nice to see the Falcons in the other half of the field for the first time uh, tonight, really, and pressing a little bit. Um, who goes up? Torren Hart, I think, is going up. Um, Toby's up there. Long high ball comes in. Nice high ball. A nice header comes in. Line over the far side of the field from us on down the right. And it's played forward and intercepted. Matthew Francis does well, intercepts, controls. Um, and his, his passing has been immaculate all night. Um, finding his men wide and, and short passes into his front man as well. So, um, Falklands would be glad to see the back of those two players, certainly. Um, and we need to see if we can... Threat of rain at the moment. Um, and it's really a beautiful evening for watching football. And I'm sure all the boys are enjoy playing it. The opportunity to come and play here in this, these island games. Nice work from Matt Francis. Nice work. And the goal. <laughs> Mate, I would put him back in. I would. I, I think care. Ten Hag would as well. Yeah, I think, I think Ten Hag would. I reckon he'll put him in the most of the season. He's going to be up here. He's too good of a player. He's too good of a player. Oh, no, no, no. Incredible player. But that's how he's going to be the only people to his power. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that is.